You know, overall, we got the uh, mid 70s as far as the snaps were in the scrimmage. That's what we were looking for. You could tell by the uh, type of scrimmage we wanted to throw the ball a lot, and see what the quarterbacks could do, and we got that done with a low number of backs where we're sitting. We wanted to make sure that we were able to have a scrimmage to be able to throw around a little bit. So that was that was a major emphasis. Got a backed up situation. Not so good for the offense, very good for the defense in that part of the drill. Uh, red zone went a little bit back and forth, so we'll, we'll sit back, evaluate the tape. And some young men made some good strides forward and uh, we'll look at the deficiencies and address them and, and move along. But, uh, I thought they you know, we flew around pretty good. I'd like to, have, on the offensive side, I think we'd like to say that uh, we forced a few more people to miss. On the defensive side, it's Say it's a good thing there's not a lot of people missing tackles. So uh, there's always give and take in spring football, but overall, probably the first, uh, proud of the kids for the first six days and uh, have consistent days, physical days. It's a really good thing. You want to just comment on playing Alabama? I mean, I know it's a long ways away, but uh, Cowboy, the Cowboy Classic in 2015? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for the University of Wisconsin. Tremendous opportunity to play uh, to kick off the college football season. It's a, it's a memory that the kids will have forever, you know, regardless of the opponents. So that's a, that's a great opportunity. It shows great, great respect for the University of Wisconsin as a whole, as a football program and as a university. How does that compare to you when you were at Utah State playing a really tough out-of-conference schedule? We would never have gone to the kickoff class. <laughs> um, you know, it's... it's uh, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what the feel would be compared to that. You know, this is a little different walking into any environment first game of the year, but it's a, it's a big time game, uh, first game of the year. So because of that, I guess there would be some carryover. Coach, I would, I would have loved to have them in a home and away type situation to come to Camp Randall when you go there. I, I would love that. I would too. That would be fun. That would be a good situation to be able to to uh, have them here and go there. But uh, you know, we get the we get the one shot. Be a big time environment for sure. Who's you stepping ain't... forward so far right now in your quarterback situation? Who's looked good for you? Don't know. You know, it's it's very very tight. I think it's too tight to evaluate and say who's ahead or who's behind right now. Uh, this this tape will be big. It's the first time we were really under pressure. Uh, I let it go pretty close to the whistle as far as the sacks went, so they had to react to situations. And uh, so this will be closely evaluated. Uh, it's still a, a very open race, and I expect it to be for the first few days when we get back from spring break. Also. Is that game against Alabama a proving ground because of the dominance of the SEC and kind of how the Big Ten has struggled against SEC teams in bowl games? Yeah, I don't know really enough, to be honest with you, uh, about the history. Uh, at that point, when that game comes, I'll be worried about uh, you know, scheming against uh, Alabama, who's going to be very, very talented. And, uh, the pass will be the pass at that point. But right now, I want to get through the spring, the scrimmage and uh, get through practice six and get the kids on their way for spring. Is this break coming at a good time, or do you guys want to have a couple more practices to go before you let them go for a couple, couple, couple weeks? I think it's week? good. I think it's good timing. Uh, it's very good timing for me since the moving truck's leaving on uh, Saturday and rolling its way to Madison. So it'll give me a week to get settled. Uh, but I think it's good. You know, six practices in, midpoint kind of the semester. Uh, there's been a lot that's gone through these kids' minds. I think a big deep breath, uh, of fresh air at this point is a, is a good. Good thing for them and, and for the coaches also. Gary, a lot of people have asked if Stave runs well enough to be a starter. I mean, if he wins that job, do you have any reservations about his mobility or playing a guy like that? No, not whatsoever. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he moves around well. He's very smart, uh, throws the ball well. And uh, you know, we saw that today. And we've got to, you know, we, we got to catch the ball. Back. It's the first time in spring that I would sit back and I would say you know, we've had some uh, very positive things about the, the wide receivers and some of the plays they've made. And today we lost some opportunities because we didn't catch the ball. Here, what were your initial impressions of Joel when you sat down met with him uh, either before the Rose Bowl or after the season? Stave? Yeah. Uh, very. Uh, he, he's a he's a young man that thinks things out, and I like that. I like that in a kid. You know, he doesn't sit back and try to talk just to talk. He's going to talk when he, when he has something to say and, and when you ask him a question, he's very intelligent. It's very obvious football is important to him. It was important the first time I sat down and, just, and uh, had discussions with him and it, that, that just continues to carry on. But a, a very bright young man that uh, wants to be successful at the highest level. Your defense scores and points, that's important to you guys. You preach that, right, on defense, not just getting turnovers, but getting points? 
Yeah, absolutely. The ability for us to be able to you know, get the ball out and cause turnovers and then score on defense is, is, uh, is a big thing. You know? I want to see us have more energy and juice when that happens. I'd like to see us be a little more excited at times. But, you know, it's, it's, it's great when that can happen. And again, it's spring ball. It's really good on one side and it's really bad on the other. But uh, they, they did uh, get some balls out today and, and made some good plays. And, you know, you, you really expect at this time of the year um, the defense may be a little bit ahead of the offense. And that may have been the case today. But I also would say, you know, we're throwing it more than we normally would just to find it. Those back to back singles at a safety, the second one, or did you rule that a touchdown after the fumble? Mm -hmm. No, that was they said they were both safeties. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the one was one would have been a sack and the other one was a, a fumble and but the offensive line we covered up. Okay. And was the pass rush good? Were you pleased with um, your pass rush? I thought it was better. You know, it's uh for, for the first time as, as live as we've been, it was a very, very short session the other day, but uh, there was there was there was good push in the pocket it looked like for the most part. Uh, there was times the quarterback had to held onto the ball too long and all the things in between that uh, you get with the new offense. But uh, yeah, I thought those kids came off the ball and, and had some success and got a couple sacks. Coach, how do you view your, your running back situation, you know, with with, uh, with Lewis and all those guys you got back there? Well, I, I feel I feel good. Um, you know, Melvin, I would like to see him run more today. Um, James is just to prove him. Warrior, you know that kid comes to work every single day, and you know Watt's very tough. And you know we've got, uh, you know Jeff came out and, and he's getting some reps. I think every rep he gets is good for him at this point to be able to become, you know, just get back in the swing of things. I guess if you will more than anything, but uh, it's good. You know I want, I want to see uh, their physical presence a little bit more. Uh, I'd like to see them. Sometimes there's one that's going to go 98. Sometimes there's one that's going to go two or three, but one's not more important than the other. And, you got to learn to take what's there and, and stick it in there and, and get the yards that are available for each each and every run. Are you pleased with the offensive line right now? There was so much made of that last year with the changing coaches and all that stuff. And are they doing what you want them to do at this point? Yeah, they are. The, they, the numbers are low. Uh, that's my biggest concern. You know, we've, uh, we'll see how it goes. We may have had another little bit of an injury today, uh, but we'll see as we as we get that evaluated. But I. I, uh, we have two converted defensive linemen that were defensive linemen until a month ago playing over there right now. One's a center and one's playing at the right guard spot. And these kids are battling. They'll get a lot better as they go through the first six practice, which they just did, and have some time off. But uh, you know, that first group is uh, doing a very nice job. The second group is, is battling to you know, get themselves in a position to be successful. Have you ever thought of moving Jeff Lewis to a different position to get that speed on the field and maybe he's a little buried at running back? Or is he yes. pretty committed to being a running back? I, I have thought about that more than once. And uh, we've actually, we had a little bit of a discussion about that the first day when we sit down with, uh, with Jeff. And, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, he, uh, he is, uh, he wants to play running back. He's excited about playing running back. And, you know, with, uh, with moving Zoo over to safety, you know, it puts us in a position that we're, we're kind of down one running back and we need to be able to do that. So, you know, the chess pieces are always going to move. They'll constantly move uh, to give the kids the best opportunity uh, from our standpoint as coaches to win games. Are you trying to maybe set up more non-conference games when you play these bigger schools like Alabama in years to come? Well, I, th I think it's uh, you know it's really going to depend on how the scheduling comes out within within the conference. Uh, it's important to have, in my opinion, it's important to have you know one of those games. And it's met some years it may be a marquee game because of what the team's done in the past. Other years it may not be. You never know because you schedule it out so far in advance, but. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's nice to have those big time games. I mean, it's the University of Wisconsin. With with the people expect to play at a high level. Yeah, with the result of that, the new rules coming out that maybe they go to a playoff system with that four teams, that that affect you in your non conference schedule. Uh, you know what? I have no idea what they're doing with the with the uh, if they're going to playoff games or what they're going right. to do, and I have no clue. So that's so far out of my. Uh, uh, my realm of the world. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. So we'll just play the games we got at this point. Do you feel like you got done what you wanted to get done before this break now? This yeah, break? yeah. I felt good about today. You know, it was a good time for us to be able to sit back, kind of the coaches, and evaluate the kids and see what they've uh, they've absorbed. Uh, again, consistent physical practices that uh, you still want to see them going like this emotionally or with the put in and absorbing it. I think we've done that. So, you know, so far, so good. You never get it exactly how you want it to be. But, um, you know, proud of the kids and 
coaches have worked hard. This will be a good break, and then I expect to come back and really be going at a pretty high pace when we get back here on Monday. I believe it's April first. How do you like the play of the uh, somewhat inexperienced secondary today? Made some plays today. It was great to see, and uh, they're, I think their confidence is growing a little bit. They're a little more com comfortable in the man coverage, um, which is a positive. And the quarters coverage, which is the base coverage that we play, is not a departure at all from what they've done for years. So there's a ton of carryover in that. that the quarters is quarters coverage. So um, you know they got a blitz a little bit today. One of a couple sacks coming off the edge of the corners. I don't know exactly which ones it was, but uh, they're working hard. It's important to them. And uh, they're putting in the work every day to, to you know, hold their spots down, and there's a lot of competition too.